Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are now in lecture 4, Relational Algebra, part 3. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand basic operations of set operations which include set union, set intersection, set difference and Cartesian product. Set operation is used for purpose of combining more than one relation. These are all the set operations that we will take a look after this. Let's consider this data. We have a staff relation here which contain current job of the staff. And the second relation is job history which contain previous job of the staff inside this company. Let's take a look at the example of the data. We have staff 101, Ali. Right now, Ali is a manager. But if we take a look at staff ID 101 in job history relation, before became the manager, Ali was a cashier in the company. He may be got promoted to become a manager now. Let's take a look at staff 104, Lily. Right now, Lily is a cleaner. If we take a look at job history inside the company, at first, Lily worked as a cleaner. Maybe she was good. Then, she was promoted as a cashier. But God knows, maybe Lily is not yet qualified as a cashier and always did a mistake and she was de-promoted to become a cleaner again. Hence, that's why Lily is a cleaner as recorded in staff relation. I hope you can get the relationship between the staff and job history relation. Now let's take a look at our first set operator, set union. Union of two relations R and S defines as a relation that contains all the tuples of R or S or both R and S, duplicate tuples being eliminated. R and S must be union compatible. Union compatible is the relations that involve in the union operation must have the same number of attributes being projected and the corresponding attributes must have mesh data type. Let's consider this example. We have the same staff and job history relations. What we want to find now, list all staff and their current and previous jobs in the company current job we can get from staff relation and previous jobs we can get from the job history relation. Now let's find the current job. Project, staff ID, job ID from relation staff. Then let's find the previous job of the staff. Project, staff ID, job ID from job history relation. We combine the relational algebras by using union operator. And the result from first relational algebra combine the result from the second relational algebra. And this is what we will get. Remember, union will remove the duplication of the result. And union compatible means, take a look at, at our first relational algebra. We project only two columns, staff ID and job ID. The same goes with the second relational algebra. We only project staff ID and job ID. And the data type called corresponding column must be the same. Now, let's take a look at intersection. It defines a relation consisting of the set of all tuples that are both in R and S. R and S also must be a union compatible. Let's take a look on the example. We still have the same staff and job history relations. Now, we want to display the staff and their job of those staffs who currently have a job that is the same as their previous one. What does it mean here? We want to find the staff that they have changed jobs but have now gone back to doing the same job that they did previously. From the first relation, we will find project, staff ID, job ID from staff intersect with project, staff ID, job ID from job history. And this is the result that you will get. 
based on the result the common value between staff relation and job history relation is only applied for Lily because Lily is the only one that have changed their job but have now gone back to doing the same job that she did previously. Now let's take a look at set difference. The set difference operation defines a relation consisting of the tuples that are in relation R but not in S. R minus S means what's in R, not in S. And R and S must be union compatible. Let's take a look on the example. We still have the same staff and job history relations. Now, we want to find the staff that never changed their job since hired. What does it mean is, the data of the staff will never be in the job history relation if the staff haven't changed their job since hired. Now, what we are trying to find is the staff that their data are not in job history relation. So how to do it will be project staff ID from staff relation minus project staff ID from job history relation. And this is the result that you will get. What does that mean here? Staff 103 and 105 never changed their job since hired. Now, let's take a look at Cartesian product. It defines a relation that is the concatenation of every tuple of relation R with every tuple of relation S. We still have the same staff and job history relation. And what we are trying to find now, by using Cartesian product, find staff ID, name and job ID with their start and end date of previous job. What does it mean here? Every tab from staff relation will be combined with every tuple of job history relation. How can we do it? Project staff ID, last name, job ID from staff relation, Cartesian product with project staff ID, job ID, start date and end date from the job history relation. And this is the result that you will get. See, all possible data is being projected in a table result. It's hard to determine which data is useful to the users. So, what can we do with the Cartesian product? Yes, we can add some condition to limit the result return. If we can see, staff relation and job history relation has a common attribute. What is the common attribute between those two relations? Yes, staff ID is inside the staff and staff ID inside the job history. Now, we can use selection operation to extract those tuples where staff ID from staff is equal to staff ID from job history. Now, let's do the relational algebra. Selection of staff.staff ID equals to job history.staff ID. Then, we project staff ID, last name, job ID from staff relation, Cartesian product with project staff ID, job ID, start date and end date from the relation, job history. And this is the result that we will get. See, only few data that met the condition are selected. From the result, we know who have changed their job and when was their previous job started and ended. Cartesian product with condition is normally solved by using join operation. That's all for now. See you again in the next part. Thank you.